When it comes to Google Analytics alternatives, perhaps the most competitive place to look is when it comes to user behavior tools. In this video, I'm gonna show you four tools that track the behavior of your users. Now the crazy part here is that there's a three-way tie for our number one tool recommendation. And so while we do name a number one tool chronologically, you'll be in good shape if you use any of these tools. Okay, so what exactly is a user behavior tracking tool? Well, think of these tools as a way to map out what users do when they're on your website in aggregate. Do you wanna see a heat map of how people move through your homepage and sales pages? These tools have you covered. Wanna see recordings of individual sessions from your best-selling customers? You can do it with each of these tools. Plus, you'll find these tools can do a whole lot more. And so when we look at Google Analytics alternatives, user behavior tracking should be something you should strongly consider as a, not just a replacement to GA4, uh, but as a complement to what you're doing. So while it won't completely replace the need for GA4, they are truly best in class with the value they deliver. And to watch this update and to see all of our recommended alternatives to GA4, make sure you go to ddu.ai slash buy GA. Okay, let's get to the list. Our number four tool is Hotjar. Hotjar helps you understand how users behave on your site, what they need, and how they feel fast. Uh, its strengths are that it has heat maps that visually represent where users click, move, and scroll on your site. And with this context, you can learn how users really behave. You can get live playbacks of users on your site, improve your site on the fly by watching recordings of each visit, and you can see things like clicks, mouse movements, U-turns, rage clicks, and so on. Now, a real-time suggestion box on your site can do stuff like give you a survey as well, so you can see where people are frustrated or where they're delighted with what you do. And you can get direct feedback in the wild across your site or product, which is a really cool integration. Now, you can create and use targeted surveys to get better understanding of your users, send surveys to users in the moment, not weeks later, and validate your ideas in real time. Now, I personally have a lot of experience using Hotjar. It's been on my site in various capacities for the last eight years, since before it was even called data-driven. So I've used it before, but I've also used it so much that I've become maybe more aware and more frustrated with some of the features. And so um, surprisingly, even though I have a lot of good things to say about it and a lot of experience with it, it was our number four tool for user behavior tracking with an overall score of 66. Okay, so there's a few things that make up that score. Number one is that it's not cheap. So the price score is a three out of five. To get going for a relatively small site, it's gonna cost you about $79 a month. Um, there's a free tier though, if you do wanna get the free tier. Uh, I give it a four out of five for installation ease because you can install it with Google Tag Manager. Features comparison to Google Analytics is a three out of five because Honestly, it doesn't actually work as an analytics tool. It's more of a behavior analytics tool. You're gonna to find that across this entire review that everything gets about a three out of five for features because it's not a full-fledged analytics tool in the way that Google Analytics is. Privacy score, we give it a three out of five because obviously recording users isn't gonna be the greatest. Um, we're not, everything's not gonna get a perfect rating for it. It does integrate with other products, okay, so three out of five. Report quality, I give it a three out of five because I think the interface is a little bit clunky. And the amount of expertise that's needed, I give it a four out of five because you can get started without having a ton of expertise. It's not super complicated or stalling you out to install it, but it does take some effort to get there. So our overall score of 66 is pretty good. And you can tell the competition is really high in this category because with a 66 being the lowest rated tool means everything else is actually really great. Not that Hotjar is not very good. Hotjar is great. And if you're already using it, you should be happy that you're using it. Okay, so let's move on to tool number three, or AKA tool that's tied for number one. This is Microsoft Clarity. Clarity is a free, easy to use tool that captures how people actually use your site. You can set it up easily and you can start getting data in minutes. And it does integrate with Google Analytics, which is pretty awesome. So some strengths, instant heat maps. You can generate these automatically for all your pages. You can see where people click, what they ignore, and how far they scroll. Session recordings, much like Hotjar and much like these other tools, Powerful insights so you can quickly discover where users get frustrated and turn these into opportunities. And then that GA integration is awesome. You can seamlessly integrate the two. So you add these up, we have a overall score of 75. Maybe if I re-ran these numbers, it might be my number one recommendation. It's tied for one right now, but when you think about it, the number one reason why you might wanna use this is because the price is right, it's free, okay? So the price score is five because it's free. 
And that's amazing, right? It's pretty easy to install with a three out of five. It's not as easy as these other tools we're talking about because there's not a GTM tag template, at least out of the box. Features comparison score, we give it a four out of five because it does have some cool features. Privacy score, four out of five. Um, it's a little bit more privacy focused because it's a pretty relatively new tool that's being introduced in a more privacy centric world. Integrations of the products, four out of five, especially because it integrates with Google Analytics. Report quality, three out of five and expertise needed, we give it a three out of five. Uh, maybe as I start installing it on my site, I might bump up that report quality score, but it does give you an overall score of 75 and it's tied for number one in the category. Okay, so what other tools are tied with us? Let's go to tool number two, which is actually tied for one as well. This is Crazy Egg. Now I've had Crazy Egg on my site for several years as well. They are a supporter of Data Driven. They have given me an account that I can use to train my students and I'm very appreciative of that. And I wanna say shout out to Crazy Egg for being a very generous company and for supporting me so much over the years, okay? You are awesome and thank you so much for that. Okay, so Crazy Egg is a way that you can improve what's working on your site, fix what isn't working and test new ideas. It's, it's very similar to these other tools. So I'm not gonna go over why it's similar. I'm gonna talk maybe about some differences. Okay, so what you can do is you can understand your customer journey with snapshots, heat maps, and recording. You can find out if errors of your website are preventing users from converting by watching session replays. And you can compare and analyze traffic sources by channel. It's a little bit closer to being a real analytics tool or a quantitative analytics tool, sort of like GA, than some of these other ones. The other ones are more qualitative. They're more asking you not so much about how traffic sources come in, but they're showing you stuff about heat maps and about individual user journeys. And so I think it is stronger a little bit on the analysis of traffic sources by channel. Okay. Overall score is 75. The thing that's bringing it down the most is the price. It's not cheap. It's about $99 a month to go. But I think that if you're analyzing this, if you have a lot of sales pages and you have a lot of traffic to your homepage, totally worth that fee, okay? It's pretty easy to install, four out of five, because it has a tag template on Google Tag Manager. Maybe I should even bump that up to a five out of five because all you need is your crazy egg account ID and it goes really well, okay? Features, um, we give it a comparison. The features score three out of five. Privacy score three out of five, just because we don't know how these things are regarded in the world of GDPR. Um, integrations with other products, four out of five. Report quality, five out of five. Expertise needed uh, is a five out of five. So you don't really need a lot of expertise. It's so easy, even a caveman like me can use it. And so overall, we give it a 75. You can see Crazy Egg is a very strong contender. It probably would be number one by most categories, but since they're all tied and bunched up at that 75 score, it's tied for number one. Okay, so tool number one, or tied for one with the other ones, is mouse flow. Now, mouse flow allows you to optimize your website with certainty, not assumption. You know what's happening at every touch point of your user's journey, and no guesswork is required. Now, it's really good because it helps marketing people know, understand user behavior, and give you feedback that's your North Star in optimization, from campaigns, landing pages, to form submissions, which allows you to increase ROI with every initiative. It gives you analytics. This is one of the big key features here. It lets you contextualize data and test results with replays, visualizations, and feedback. Find and solve your costliest website frustrations quickly. And you can see what users actually do on your site and you can optimize functionality with confidence, catching bugs and so on before they spread and make you lose money, okay? So with design, you can capture reliable user data to back up your decisions, embrace continual user testing across the entire site, for non-stop optimization opportunities. And you can find out what really made an, e, an A-B test work because you're recording your tests and you can see how people interact with each variation. And so that is awesome. It allows you to add visual context to speed up your implementation as well. Okay, so our overall score is 75. That is brought down the most by the price score as well. As you can tell, these full featured tools other than Microsoft Clarity cost money because they're doing a lot. They're recording people's sessions. They're giving you beautiful heat maps. There's a lot of data that goes into that and they need to collect it all and make sense of it. So they charge you for it accordingly. So the price is about $159 for a small to medium website per month. Um, their installation ease, four out of five, meaning that it's pretty easy to install. Features comparison, three out of five. Privacy, we give it a three out of five. That's our blanket privacy score for these types of tools. Integrations of the products, five out of five. Report quality, five out of five. And our expertise score is a four out of five, bringing us to an overall score of 75. Now, here's the weird thing. We have these things tied all at one, these, these three products that are there. I have used Hotjar on my site, and I've used 
crazy egg on my site, and I have some really good things to say about him. But also, now if you're walking down the hall and you said, Jeff, gun to your head, what are you going to do for a user optimization or user behavior analytics tool? I'd probably tell you Crazy Egg or Microsoft Clarity. Clarity because it's free. Crazy Egg because I've used it for a long time. But that doesn't mean that these other ones aren't good as well. They all have a lot of the same features, and they're all pretty cool in what they can do. And so... Um, you ask me every day what my recommendation is and I might change it and I might customize it to you based on what you're looking to do with it. So there you have it. Our review of four user behavior measurement tools that can be complemented to your GA4 data. And that's what I wanna talk about. These are complementary tools. I would probably never use one of these tools as my primary analytics tool. This is why they all integrate with Tag Manager or Google Analytics, why they make it easy to install on your site because they realize that you want some qualitative data in these user behavior tools to complement the industry standard for quantitative data, which is Google Analytics or Google Analytics 4. Okay, and so that's the reason why they're complements. So if you wanna make your GA4 experience better, if you wanna know what happens within a page if something's not performing, I would highly recommend that you add one of these to what you're doing. Maybe start with Clarity because it's free and it integrates with Google Analytics and then see where it goes. And if you need a little bit something more, look at one of the paid tools and see where it leads you. Okay, so that's it for this overview of user behavior tools. For a complete overview of all of our rankings, visit ddu.ai slash buy GA.